So hello and welcome to another Sprues and Brews unboxing. Hello, Matt, are you ready to enter the Night Vault? I am super ready to enter the Night Vault. <laughs> We've got the two latest war bands for Night Vault here. The Eyes of the Nine, the Zinch Band, and Zarbag's Gits, which is a big box full of goblins and squigs. Yeah, it's a pretty hefty box size, isn't it? Yeah, they, um, they look so cool. Look at all those goblins. Seen some really nice paint schemes over these last over the last few days as well. Yeah, some interesting schemes as well. I saw a nice uh, blue one on uh, was it Instagram or Twitter Something recently? Like, yeah, yeah, Twitter I think. So yeah, they're really cool. So should we uh, get to it and open up one of these? Let's do it. Let's start with the gobbos. Start with the gobbos. Cool. So if we open this up. Great value these are. Seventeen pounds fifty. They are really good. Now, oops, that's upside down. Rookie mistake there. That is very yellow. <laughs> Or it gold. is. It's gold, uh, it looks like gold, yeah. So let's have a look at these sprues first of all. Get this into focus for you. So they are um, night goblins. What are they called now? Moon, Moon clouds. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they are super nice models. Now hopefully we see some uh, grots for Age of Sigmar soon. Mm -hmm. And if they're anything like these, we are in for a treat. We are. We are. I mean, obviously, at the minute, we've got the core kind of um, box of uh, moon, moon Clan Grots, which yep. are quite old now. And these are, these do... these are, Some of these guys are very similar. Yeah, it's not as if they're going to change like the styling of them I don't, too much. Though, saying that, there's a few kind of different looking guys. The kind of caster guy looks a lot different to what we've seen previously. Yeah. And I think he's on the other side. He has more in common with the Shaman from My Importance. He does, which is a good thing because that's a really good, nice model. But yeah, these are these are really good, aren't they? And squigs, Matt, squigs. Yeah, I mean I'm a big fan of squigs. I've always said as soon as there's plastic squigs, I like to do an army. And to be fair, probably work out cheaper to get the squigs out of this than uh how much squigs you get, you get three squigs, is it? Three or is it squigs two? or two squigs? Yeah, two squigs, maybe two not. Squigs. But still, decent box. And they've got rules for these on the um, Games Workshop website as well. To yep. use them in Games of Age of Sigma. So, as well as the um, instructions to build them there. Nothing too exciting there. No, the usual squigs. Easy yeah, build, so cool. you don't need glue, technically. Yeah, and I found building my stuff out of the starter box. That it's actually a lot easier to put them together without the glue. Also, there's a bit of lore about Zarbag's gits on the front there, which is cool. So yeah, we get two packs of cards. Obviously, some of these include cards that can be used by any faction as well. I think is it this one that's like a ready-to-go deck? Oh, deck one of two. Maybe deck not. Two of two. No, I'm I'm not sure. I can't remember how they have them split. Let's have a quick peek in here and see. What kind of goodies we get? Apologies, might open this uh, deck up for you. <laughs> but yeah, all the um, Night Vault stuff looks really, really cool, hasn't it? Yeah, 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 definitely. So if we have a quick scan there, so make, make some noise. Two up to two friendly squigs and push each of them two hexes. That's nice. Yeah, these all look like they might be the goblin ones. Oh no, uh, universal. Well. So yeah, it looks like we've got a mix mixture of cards then rather than a... Maybe yeah. it was just in the starter box that you've yeah. got kind of the pre-made decks. Yeah. Where these kind of assume you've got kind of those core cards that you need and then add to it. Sniffer Spite. Nice. Yeah, there's some cool stuff there. So that is the uh, Zarbag's Gits Warband. They look really fun. Um, I'm sure we'll be playing a few games with these chaps soon. Oh yes. The other box that we've got though is the Eyes of the Nine. So these are the kind of zinch guys, and yeah, these look really cool. Let's have a nosy inside the box. Let's see, this box is not upside down. Good start. <laughs> oh, nice blue colour for this uh, yes, one. Yes, very blue. So, let's have a look at the sprues. The most important bit. So we have got a blue horror straight off the bat. Yeah. Really like those pieces as well. Kyra lights, they're nice, aren't they? Yeah. I, I really like the Kyrie Acolytes. I'd be tempted to do a kind of mortal Zinch Force Zinch at some point. I mean, I've got lots of demons from every faction, mm. but uh, yeah, I quite like the mortal stuff. And the um, Zangors as well. Speaking of which, there is a rather awesome looking Zangor on here. Yeah, he looks ace. I love his pose as well with, you know, holding his sword up. Yeah, they... 
They look really cool, don't they? Yeah, they've knocked it out of the park with these um, some brimstone horrors there as well. With these, um, yeah, you don't start with them on the board when your blue horror dies. Okay. It spawns the brimstone horrors, and when they die, uh, your ability from your leader allows you to bring a blue horror back on any starting hex. That's really cool. Yeah, on the board. Again, we've got the instruction manual, same as always. But yeah, like I said, I always used to build the, the first kind of season of Warhammer Underworlds using glue. And it always kind of leaves you with a gap because I guess these are engineered in such a way mm -hmm. that they're pushing together. Where if you put in a layer of glue, mm. you're kind of getting the measurements out by a millimetre. Mm. And um, yeah, there might be a few bits that need sticking, but on the whole, they go together, you know, really well. You know, the design to go together without glue. Yeah, yeah. Which is cool. And then again, same as in the other one, you get some cards. There's our uh, warrior there. The Zangor. He looks pretty beasty, doesn't he? He does. Very angry. Very yeah, angry. that's cool. And yeah, again, a mixture of Zinch cards and Universal ones. So, if you want to have the full set of Underworlds cards for well, both the seasons, really explain, you know, competitively, you're going to pick up each of these gangs for £12.50 a box. You know, £17. Really nice. £17. Sorry, £17.50 a box. Yeah. They're really nice models anyway. Um, and you know what? I'd argue it's a better model than, say, you know, buying a blister pack and getting random cards. Yeah. At least you know what you're getting in these boxes. Yeah. And they don't hide the fact of what cards come in what box. They very quickly yeah. updated the Warhammer Underworld website to say, you know, where you're going to get each of these um, each of these cards from. Yeah. I mean, I think that's a good thing. Um, we. Have Sad to say, haven't I played the game of Night Vault yet? I think you've been waiting no. for the uh, Zinch guys. Jay's been waiting for the Goblins. We've also been wanting to get some paint on them as well. I know you've yeah. been starting your Stormcast, but all I've done is undercoat my um, chain rasp so far. So I need to get those painted. But yeah, you're right. These might take priority. Yeah, they are very cool. Um, we found as well the nice little project on the side as well. You know, if you're getting burnt up by an army and just want something different yep. to paint as well. Yep. Uh, for what, less than 20 quid? Yep. You can't go wrong there. You can't. So that's the new two warbands from Warhammer Underworld's Night Vault. No doubt we'll be back when the rest of the gangs are out. Indeed we will.